All right, so the last thing is the level of significance of R. So mathematicians have identified values to determine whether R, which is our correlation coefficient for a sample, can be attributed to a relationship between variables in the population. Now these values are shown in the second and third column in this table here. So alpha of 0.05 and alpha of 0.01, okay? They depend on the sample size N, which is in our left column here. So that's kind of our column here. And if the absolute value of R uh, of the correlation coefficient computed for the sample is greater than the value given in the table, whether it's looking at the 0.05 level or the 0.01 level, then a correlation exists between the variables in the population. Now, the column headed 0.05 denotes a significance level of 5%, meaning that there is a 0.05 probability that when the statistician says the variables are correlated, they're actually not related to the population, whereas the column on the right headed the alpha of 0.01 denotes a significance level of 1%, meaning that there is a 0.01 probability that when the statistician says the variables are correlated, they're actually not uh, related in the population. So values at the O1 level are greater than those at the 0.05 level column, okay? So that means you're, you're better off there. So because of the possibility of sampling error, there's always a probability that when we say the variables are related, there's actually not a correlation in the population from which the sample is randomly selected. So basically, you're never going to get it for sure, for sure. You can get it to the 0.01 level or the 0.05 level, and then you say, okay, well, I, I'm good to the 0.05 or I'm good to 0.01. So that's how we're going to look at this. So now the question is, if you worked checkpoint 2, which we did, and checkpoint 4, which we did correctly, you should have found that R is about 0.89 for the number of samples of 10. Now, can you conclude that there is a positive correlation for all industrialized countries between firearms per 100 persons and deaths per 100,000 persons? So our R is 0.89, and so N is 10. So we're looking at this here, uh, basically this here row. So what we're looking at is, is R greater than this value? Well, R was equal to 0 0.89. Is that greater than 0.632? Well, yes, it's greater than that one. Well, is it greater than 0 0.765? Yes, it's greater than that. So yes, we have, uh, we can say, uh, yes, uh, there is a positive, positive uh, correlation to the alpha equals 0 0.01 level, okay? So up to the 0.01 level, we're good to go, and we're way past the 0.05 level. We, we, we beat that one by quite a bit, and we still beat that one. And so, yes, there is that positive correlation at the 0.01 level for alpha, okay? All right, so let's stop there, and uh, that should be the end of this section.